Hey guys, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like this is the first genuine video that I've posted in a while that's like Genuinely, I'm happy. I'm not having highs and lows. I'm not crying in front of the camera I don't feel sad and like obviously there are some days where I feel sad but this video is all about how I'm healing from my breakup and things that I did to kind of keep the process going because I feel like maybe I'm doing a horrible job maybe I'm just shoving everything under the rug and then you know in like four months it'll all just come and bite me in the ass but like I think I'm doing okay you guys so first of all I want to say it's been about two weeks since I've been broken up with or maybe maybe longer I don't really know but like shit was already hitting the fan before then so I'm kind of gonna explain a couple things that I did to help this process so First of all, if you guys don't know me, my name's Sydney. Welcome to my channel. Um, I got well, I got broken up with by this guy I've never been broken up with before. So honestly, it really freaking hurt, you guys. I am in college, so I've honestly like, you know, I'm a little older. Like high school, I witnessed a lot of other people getting broken up with and like being heartbroken. But for me, I dealt with like guys leading me on and then like dropping me but and i've been cheated on before but this was so different because this was like my first real love and um how do you even move on from that like i really didn't know there's no rule book of how to do it because everyone has their own feelings my parents had no advice for me they literally were just like i know it feels like the end of the world sydney but you'll get better and in my head i was like it doesn't even feel like the end of the world because honestly you guys before that in like the middle of my relationship with him I like had hit rock bottom mentally myself and I was climbing my way back up and I think that because I was already I'd already hit rock bottom I had a whole different mindset than a lot of people do but if you guys are in the same situation where you are just feeling like shit and you really love this person then I hope this video helps you out. I really want you guys to know that even if you haven't taken these steps yet you can take all the advice from this video and really Take it to heart and hopefully do things and let me know how it goes for you because for me i feel like i've been recovering a lot faster than normal i know i'm really good at faking things too like no one really knew how i was feeling on the inside like post breakup people kept asking me how i'm doing and i'm like please don't ask me because i really don't want to talk about it because i'm really good at faking things so if you're like that and you kind of, and you you just have good coping mechanisms or you're like you're good at brushing things on the rug or whatever then this video hopefully will help you out so first thing i want to say is i hopped on here with no list in mind because i realized that this is all going to come from my heart first thing is the night that he broke up with me he did it over the phone which really sucked and he had just just left for cali that day so like it wasn't like he couldn't have done it in person but right after he left i was feeling like i needed to apologize to some people in my life that i had wronged in the past and it might not have been a big wrong it might have just been me being me uh, it, like anything that i felt i need to get off my chest like that day i did and it's never too late even if you go through a breakup and this is before he broke up with me so keep that in mind um i just wanted a fresh chapter to be happy and this was before he broke up with me and i don't know why that i had this feeling that i needed to make amends with people that were you know very significant people in my life that had just kind of like left because of the way that i was acting or things that had happened in the past and i'm gonna be honest like i last summer it took me a year to heal from all of this so if you are dealing with something if you regret something that you've done in the past and you just want to make things right honestly like no matter if you're still with someone or you've already broken up with them like i would highly suggest that you take the time to do that so what I did was that day, anyone that I felt I had like, a, you know, something bothered me that I, the way I treated them or a situation that happened or an apology that I never gave someone that I know that I wanted to give them, even if they weren't expecting it. Um, I took a few hours and I just called everyone that meant something to me and I apologized for, like specifically apologized for things that I've done in the past. And I think that that really changed the course of how my breakup ended up handling myself. So it's not too late to do that. If you've already been broken up with and you're like, this is a last resort for yourself, like don't think that way. Just know that like you have time to reflect. We're all human. Apologize to the people that you've possibly wronged in the past or anything like that. So that was the first thing that I did. 
and it really lifted a weight off my shoulders then he broke up with me and then after that my wall which you guys can't see has pictures all over it there are about 10 to 15 pictures of him he left his tuxedo here he left his all his stuff here i had a picture of him on my wallpaper and what else i had him all over my instagram you guys know i love social media too so like it was just really hard because i had to get rid of all of that so the next thing i did was i i was house sitting when he came i got myself out of that house i literally only went there to feed the dogs after that because it just hurt so much you guys and it sucked because i just i felt like i had failed at something and i was rejected and i lost my best friend and my boyfriend in an instant and that kind of really sucked because i told him so much and I really opened up to him on that trip, which kind of sucked too, because I was like, wow, like, I told him things I haven't told anyone, and I'd finally gotten close enough to tell him. So, that kind of sucked, but that's just how life goes, honestly. So, you know, he had left stuff, he had left his tuxedo, he'd left all these things, and I just really needed to get that out of the house. So, I took about four or five days to kind of, like, get all the shit together because when i tell you there are things that i bought him during our relationship that he kept here because you know we go and get dressed up and we go out we didn't get go out and get dressed up that often but like we did it enough where he had things here he had like a tuxedo here all these things he had left and i got all of it together and i gave it to my mom and i said mom can you just tell me how much i owe you i just want you to send it because i cannot handle looking at it any longer so that was like one of the first things i did is i just pulled all his stuff together i i had an idea of like what shirts and long sleeves that were his that i would wear so i pulled all those out it took me forever to find one of the long sleeves and it bothered me so much because like you know going through that you and like knowing that like it's really over when you're sending stuff to someone and he lives in california so like sending it and i don't have to see him that healing process like getting rid of those things helps don't burn it don't throw it in the trash literally just give it back to them and i know that sounds really stupid but like for me it made me have peace of mind that you know he might be wearing those long sleeves or those button-up long sleeve shirts with other girls in the future he might be wearing that tuxedo with other girls and he might be wearing the pair of uh calvin klein swim shorts with other girls in the future but you know like you have to just like let it go and you can't like it's a waste of money i feel to keep it and toss it out or something and like you don't want it around in your house and you don't want to give it to someone you know because like if you do that it's a reminder so i just sent it back to him and i was just like you know what it's, it's whatever so i had my mom do that and thankfully she did it pretty quickly it took her like two days to do it um and i just like i probably would have done it faster in all honesty so like if you can do it yourself honestly i would um, but get rid of anything that reminds you of them and the next thing I did was I printed all new photos and I did something that I didn't think I would do I literally just threw out all the pictures and now I have all new pictures and it made me realize that like it's so important to do that because you don't want to have a constant reminder right where you're working or you're doing your homework personally for me like I do all my work at home so like my agency like I literally sit here and stare at these pictures so i did that and then after clearing those things out i was like i should feel better i shouldn't feel reminded but then i realized that all the music i was listening to was music i listened to with him and i know you guys are like this is so petty sydney but when you're trying to heal you need to just stop having these reminders come up constantly so what i did was i stopped going to the places that i took him um and i know that sounds stupid but it was really helpful to just get my mind off of it for the first week and then obviously i took him off of my social media i took him off everything i stopped going to those places and that was when the messages from his friends started appearing and some of his guy friends had specifically messaged me and literally said to me like like hey sydney like i know you're single now i'm sorry what he did to you and i it, like honestly like i loved having the acknowledgement of you know like i hope you're doing okay but what bothered me was like when the conversation just kept going because i was like you are literally someone that knows him like you are his one of his best friends and you're messaging me like i really i know that it's from a good intent but like sometimes it was like more hitting on me than anything and it just hurt because it was like how can this guy be hitting on me 
that knows him, but this guy doesn't even want me, you know? And it kind of sucked because I didn't really feed into it because I didn't want to be part of that, but um, that happened. So like having those reminders, like you just don't, I unfollowed his sister on Instagram. Like I love her to pieces. I respect our relationship, you know? But like, I just couldn't have those reminders. Even if she wasn't posting about him, it was still a reminder. So like unfollow people that, you know, really remind you of it. And then cut the communication with some people that you know are gonna hurt you and not lift you up. Because for me, like some of uh, his friends still talk to me to this day, like right now. And we like Snapchat and everything, but it's like more of his friends that are like girls more so that some of them I've never even met that I'm literally still messaging and like they're dope ass people, but like it's like a constant reminder. Um, but I'm like healing with time. so. That's another thing that you want to do and that I'm still working on doing because I feel like cutting those people out like you have to like use your mind and think okay like does this person make me feel sad when they're messaging me are they talking about him no are they doing anything like that no um so that is kind of like what I did to get rid of the thoughts of him like the music and everything i created a breakup playlist and it's all just empowering songs for myself that are not that i've never listened to with him that i really do like and they're all just songs that don't remind me of him you know they're all just like so what i'm still a rock star i got my rock moves you know and then the other thing is I started focusing more on myself and I know that that's something that a lot of people say but for me I am I gained a decent amount of weight recently you guys like I'm not super heavy honestly but like I just feel like there's so much more I can do with myself so what I'm trying to do right now is just get my life into order get a routine and focus more on myself like honestly I feel like going on dates is really fun and I decided you know what I am gonna jump back on tinder am I really ready for any tinder dates right now not really honestly you guys I went on one tinder date and I told the guy right away I was like you know I'm gonna be honest with you I just got broken up with I have no intention of sleeping with you or kissing you or holding your hand or like anything that people normally might do on a date or you know besides just talking and he got it and he was like yeah like that's fine he's like i know what it's like to be broken up with or to have broken up with someone like he's like i get it i you know like it hurts and so i jumped on tinder just as a distraction and i really don't feel like that's that healthy but at the same time like it's a really good ego booster so if you're kind of struggling like i would not recommend bumble i'm gonna be honest with you guys and if anyone needs help with their Tinder bios, I'm like really good at those. I've written them for all my friends. But I jumped on Tinder and I have only been on really one date. And there's a few guys that, want to, that are talking to me that like want to take me out. But I'm just not ready because I feel like some of them are really good guys. And um, the first one I went on, it took me a while to recover in all honesty. Like it's not that it took me a long time to recover mentally because I've gone out with him multiple times now. But I just feel like not everyone's intentions are the same and where I'm at in life a lot of people don't understand like if they haven't been through a breakup yet or if they have not been broken up with they don't get it um, and then also being a male and a female like I feel like that changes some some aspects of things so that was I don't know like I jumped on tinder and I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be like that's pretty quick like two weeks it might have been three weeks honestly now I really I can't even keep track but um yeah like this has been like the fastest slowest two weeks ever i ended up going to the lake and when i was at the lake i just kept thinking about him and then i've been having dreams of us getting back together which is like a subconscious thing in my mind which i know it's never gonna happen because like we have no communication he lives in cali <laughs> like literally nothing is gonna happen with that um and it's just like my mind just like thinking you know and like uh, some of my friends are like saying those things to me so like it's like in my head um but yeah and then the other the next thing is like other distractions is like focusing on myself going to the gym working out not being alone all the time and that's something that really helped like i have some really great girlfriends who i've been hanging out with a lot 
because being alone right now is not something that like I am okay with doing because when I work I work alone like most of the time so or if I have meetings like I'm just go 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 but what I realized was I just I just don't want to be alone so I decided you know there's a lot of things that I want to work on with myself it's gonna take time but it's not it's not gonna be impossible I'm gonna be able to handle it and um, so I've kind of like piled on a couple more things onto my plate and um, I've also been really focusing on my mental health because as you guys know like most of that relationship I was not mentally okay um, and I think that he mostly waited to break up with me until I was okay I think I, I really think that like even if he didn't consciously realize that I am doing a lot better um, with like my thoughts of suicide and just stuff that like I I never by the way ever in my entire life told him that I never said this and this is something I'm not manipulative in that way uh, you know how some girls will be like I'm get, or even guys they'll be like oh if you break up with me I'm gonna kill myself like not once did I ever say that because I never wanted to put something like that on him especially if our relationship wasn't going well I didn't want him to like think that he couldn't break up with me um like obviously it fucking hurts but at the same time I'm not gonna do that and I feel like being in the right state of mind really helped so if you're trying to heal I mean honestly just get everything out of your vicinity um take them off social media that's like one of the biggest hardest things because like you know that once they're off social media like most people's social media means a lot too take them off that social media and for a little while just take a step back off your phone i haven't been on my phone as often just because it makes me feel better not be on my phone take all the pictures down like you know when your family tells you that they liked him you just realize that's because you have good taste in men don't think about it in the sense of like you're not going to get anyone better and yeah like if you go if you go on dates take it as like a life lesson don't immediately try to jump back into another relationship because like for me there are some really great guys that i'm talking to right now like just talking nothing else and it just sucks because like i'm really not ready to have these people in my life i feel like some of them like are coming into my life to show me that there's good guys still out there um but like i'm really focusing on myself and i'm really focusing on my business and i'm really focusing on what i want to do with my life and there were a lot of things I couldn't do in a relationship that I can do now. And honestly, you guys, if I, if you guys are going through the same thing, if you're going through a breakup, just know that whatever you're going through and whatever you're dealing with, you can heal from it. You can heal yourself. Like you don't have to be a victim to any situation that you're dealing with. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I listened to a seminar and you have to remember that you have to fuck the force of average because we are all told that we have to do this, we have to do that, you know, there's the force of average that is literally in our society. Right now, if you listen to Get Your Mind Right, that's what I'm going to start doing tomorrow. I listened to it today, but I'm going to, you know, listen to the second episode tomorrow morning and just like make sure your mind is right. Fuck the force of average and know that like you are great, you are good, you are happy, you are healthy, you are living your best life and you have to remind yourself of those things. You have to do things that you love and the other thing is, you know, finding things you love because for me, I had to make a list of things that I love and start incorporating them because like I could work and do homework all day long but at the end of the day, you don't want to be doing that your whole day. You know, you want to do things you love like splice them in. I love sushi, haven't gone to sushi in like a while because it reminded me of him because we ate sushi together all the time in Cali and that bothered me because like he would always trash Arizona sh sushi and so I stopped eating Arizona sushi because I was like well you're, you're kind of right you know Cali sushi is better but at the same time like I like Arizona sushi still um, I started dressing up and wearing makeup and just feeling good about myself and this is not, like right now I'm wearing workout clothes and honesty like usually in my YouTube videos I wear workout clothes but like on days that I'm not filming I will throw on a dress I will go to meetings all day I will wear makeup I will just live my life and be confident and be happy and like I've noticed that when I wear makeup and I wear a real bra rather than a sports bra like you know my girls are not small like I get attention for them and not that it's always good attention but if you need that pick me up you need that ego boost you know what 
go out, dress up, look good, fucking smash whoever you want if you really want to, but don't go into self-destructive modes. And the big thing for me is I went out to one party. The party I went out to was with a fitness friend and I had my friend DD for me. And I wasn't even planning on drinking because Father's Day was the next day and I had to go to church with my dad, hiking in the morning, blah, blah, blah. But I was surrounded by amazing people that all work out, they all go to the gym. I met some fans there actually and I just had such a good experience. I got so, so plastered you guys. Like I'm going to be so honest with you. I was trashed. But the thing about it was I wasn't drinking to take away my sorrows. I was socially drinking with people who we were all having a good time. I did not think about him. I maybe mentioned that I had gotten dumped like a few times because I was honestly pretty trashed. But I wasn't doing it to like drink away my sorrows and it was like a healthy you know, party that I was at. It was people that genuinely want to lift you up. They care about you. And, you know, I ended up meeting Bella, who she's amazing. I have two friends named Bella, by the way. And Bella and I, you know, we're becoming really good friends. But going to that party made me feel better. It honestly made me feel like I actually have girls that I am friends with because, I mean, I have friends that are girls. But I got rid of a lot of my guy friends when I was dating him because that's, and those are most of the friends I have, like most of them are guys. And um, I started pulling back the guys that I had and I noticed that I wanted friends that are girls as well. And all the people that I apologized to are now coming back into my life. Slowly but surely they're coming back in and it feels really good because, you know, I was hurting for a very long time and a specific relationship that I had with someone that was like a friendship, like a sisterhood and everything we had a major falling out like you know we had some major issues when i was traveling i did something that i should not have done and i you know i totally regret it it was definitely something that i was in the wrong for like and it hurt her and it hurt me because it took me a whole year to heal and be okay with apologizing like i i feel like you know i have to own up to those things but now that person is coming back into my life and it's crazy because, you know, it took me a whole year. And look where I'm at now, like, I am doing better. Um, doesn't, can't say it doesn't hurt, but like, this is a whole new chapter in my life, you guys. And I say that a lot. I say that, you know, this is my chapter in my life, but guess what? This is a new chapter. I'm turning a page of a pretty dark time in my life and it's gonna be a lot better. I got, you know, I, I just do things that are awesome. I, I'm doing things that I love. I'm hanging out with people that I really love to be with. <sighs> and, um, you know, I'm just pursuing my dreams. So, in all honesty, you guys, if you're struggling with something, I know this is like a really long video, but if you're struggling with something, just know that it does get better. It's not the end of the world. And if you need help, there's so many people that are out there to help you. Even when you feel so alone, there are people that care. So with that being said, I would love to chat with you guys. I have Instagram, I have Snapchat. You guys can follow me on there. I'm just gonna throw this video up unedited because I just feel like it's the best when it's raw and real. And it's kinda long, but that's okay. So I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye babes.